five. It's one o'clock Eastern time in Montreal and it's Wire Lady TV. My name is Heather, Heather Boyd Wire, and every week we do these live streams at, well, usually one o'clock unless I'm a little late. I'm pretty punctual today, so that's good. We might have a little bit of noise in the background because the tree branch collectors are coming by, so we might have a little bit of noise, but it's all good. I'm just going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see if people are hopping on, make sure that we're set to public, and then we'll be good to go. So let's just see if we are live. I think so. One watching now, I guess that would be me. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys some stuff I've been working on, and then I'm going to troubleshoot an idea for a brooch with a rainbow and clouds that Victoria had asked for in the... Um, she DM me on Facebook, so you can, anytime you have any questions, you can always uh, direct message me at uh, Heather Boyd Wire. That's not a problem at all. Amber's the first one to comment. Hey, Amber, how are you? For now, anyways. Okay, and Daphne from Alaska. That's awesome. How's the weather up there? We have a beautiful sunny day here in Montreal, which is really nice for a change. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to work on one little project and then head out and catch some sunshine. Take advantage. And I've been doing a lot of uh, custom names uh, recently, and I'm going to start doing a few name bracelets, which is going to be really cool. I remember my um, daughter got one in uh, on the street in Ottawa one year, and it was really, really cute. So I'm going to get her to dig that out just to find out what kind of wire it is. It's a thicker wire. I think it's like aluminum, maybe 1.5 millimeter, something like that. So uh, beautiful at, in Alaska. That's awesome. Okay, perfect. So I am going to, most of us here, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm going to flip my screen around. I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on and I'm going to just troubleshoot a little bit of an idea. Hey, Amanda's here and Kathy. Awesome. Lots of people. So let's flip the screen. Let's bring you onto my workspace. This is all my like plastic tubing and stuff. I'm going to experiment with doing some uh, rainbows. There's Peggy. Hey, Clarice. How are you? And I thought I'd show you guys some things that I've been working on. So we've had a lot of really interesting themes in the Facebook group. One of the themes was uh, You Spin Me Round. And that reminded me of this bicycle sculpture. This is a reproduction of one that my daughter made uh, many years ago. So there's a tutorial coming up for the bike made with the washers. Hi, Neil. And good evening. Exactly. That's right. It's later where you guys are. So this is coming up. That's a tutorial coming up soon. These little cute little cat earrings is another one I'm working up on. That's coming up. And this one I had done sort of based on the bunny uh, earring that I'd done before. And someone in the Facebook group, I forget who it was, um, had done a little cat similar to the bunny and beaded the tail. So I, I doing working on one like this too. So these are coming up. There's Tracy from West Virginia, and Peggy says super cute. Thank you. And then last week, we did that little painted uh, dolly girl who was really, ended up being really cute. Remember last week, we did this painted rocks dolly, so she was cute. And then I made like this little heart-shaped um, heart shaped rock similar to that. I'm going to dangle some beads on that. So I'm working on that, and you love the doll. That's awesome. Please post early. Well, I it's I'm gonna take it's a work in progress. So the bike is coming up on next weekend, and then the cat probably in two weeks. So uh, we'll see. You got or you guys let me know if you'd rather have the cats or the or the bike. I'll let you know. So this is one of the themes in the Facebook group was um, Babushka doll that was yesterday. So I made this cute little doll. And hi, Michelle from Maine. And it ended up being really fun because what I did was I actually used a little wooden bead and I used this clear varnish and I printed out a little picture of her face. I don't know if you can see it very well. And I put um, I put it on the bead and made a little babushka doll uh, pendant. So maybe I'll do a tutorial for that one as well. I have too many, too many um, projects. So Neil says bike and someone says cat. So we'll I'll figure out which one's gonna do. I think I'll probably do the bike. That was the scheduled ones that I had. Hey Jody, long time no no see. And then here are some X's and O's from the, there was a tic-tac-toe theme in the Facebook group. So I'm working on tutorials for these too. So as you can see, I have a ton of projects. Uh, sometimes I don't know what to focus on because I have too many things. So we just do what we can, right? So, but I am still posting a lot of names as well. 
So about to eat dinner. Hi, Mia, how are you? And Jody says, yes, bike. So I'll do the bike for sure. So this is hard to see, but Victoria sent me a little sketch of a rainbow that she'd drawn with little beads hanging down. So I did a, I did a sort of a sketch like this to, to do kind of a rainbow thing. So I thought there's different possibilities that I could do uh, for that. I'm going to put it over here. Hi, Paula. And uh, so what I, she wanted to do a brooch because I think she purchased some of these pins that I have in my Etsy shop. These are little straight pins. I bought tons of them years ago. Laura loves the babushka doll. Thank you so much. So I thought I'm going to try to do a little rainbow pin like that. And I have a couple of possibilities. The only trouble was with, like, this was something fun I made with the tubing years ago. It's just like a little hot air balloon. But unfortunately, I don't have all those colors. So I had, like, these thick ones. This is sort of medical tubing that my husband uses to put on the on the wheels of the bicycles that we make. So these were these are tubes that I have. But the trouble with this is I don't have all the colors. Like I don't have yellow. Well, I could use this thick this yellow here, I suppose. So um, so let's let's get a look on here and it's so red. It would be red and orange and yellow and green. But the trouble is, see this this tube is a lot smaller. So what I would have to do is try to find the right colors of tubes. So I would almost like eliminate that one and just do, like say I was going to use these, I would do five colors, but the rainbow is really supposed to be six colors. And this is hard to work with. It's a little stiff, so you would want to use a thin, um, a thinner tube if you're doing jewelry. This is okay for the bikes because you just do a circle and close it. So this is medical tubing. I'm actually not even sure where you can buy it, but we've had it for years. And then this tube I bought in Amsterdam many, many years ago. And basically it's just like a thin tube that can go on your, um, on your, on the wires, right? So, so if we go like this, it, you can't fit 20 gauge wire, but you could probably fit 22. Mustafa's running out of supplies. A lot of people are running out of supplies right now, which is a real drag. So unfortunately, I only have a little piece, tiny piece of green here, and then the blue, and then the purple. So this is kind of interesting for a rainbow, but I really have to find, yeah, Amsterdam's amazing. So this is interesting for the for the rainbow as well, but I have all the colors here. I just don't want to break them up, but this is just to give you an idea. You can use these to do a, a rainbows. I think for today's, I'll probably use the beads just because I think that's what Victoria wanted to do. So I have all these colors of seed beads. So I have the red, I have the orange, I have yellow, I have green, now I have two kinds of blue, so I want you guys to tell me which blue is better, the, the royal blue or the turquoise blue, and then I have purple. So if you guys want to let me know which, which color is better, the um, royal or the turquoise, I'll choose one of those to use for this. Royal? Okay, so royal it is. Oh, and then turquoise, uh-oh, royal turquoise. I think I'll, I'll go with royal then just because it was the first, the first comment that I saw. And so let me just get rid of the turquoise for now. And so what we want to do first is figure out how we're going to do it in a way that there is a pin in it. So here's the pin. Sometimes we go with that and then work our way around it. And I have some of the 18 gauge wire. So as long as the beads fit on the wire, it should be okay. So we're going to just see how this is going to go. I actually haven't figure this design out at all yet. So I'm just going to have to play around with it. I'll cut it big enough and then I can always, um, I can always add a wire if I need to. But the, sometimes you start with the idea of the pin and then work around it because it's very tricky to be able to get things to, um, to sit like nice and, and firmly on the pin. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but it's hard to attach the pin after the piece is made because it wiggles around. But if we start with this, and I might backtrack and do something else, but what I was thinking is if we just start like this and then push it around the pin. Now these pins, I don't know if you can buy these anywhere. I do have them in uh, a few in my Etsy shop that I had bought years ago. You could probably get away with a bar pin uh, for this because it is, 
um, you, there will be a lot of beads that are going to kind of uh, hide uh, the inside. So I'm just trying to see if I do this, I'm wondering if that's going to work. Actually, I'm going to try something different. Rather than put this on here, I'm just, I'm just trying to decide the best thing to do because I might want to put the bead on top. There's going to be a little bit of a space, I think. Or the other thing I can do is fill it in with beads after. So if I just Maybe I'll go ahead and start the, the rainbow like this. Oh, I'm missing all these comments. Sorry about that. You don't have any pins. So you could do this as a pendant. You can definitely do this as a pendant. It's not a problem at all. So uh, I tried rainbow with seed beads and then bumped something and the beads flew. Oh yeah, that happens all the time, definitely. Yeah, I definitely have that trouble a lot. So here we go. If we go like this, and I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it, and then we'll probably do a straight line along here. I just hope I don't run out of space for the beads, but we're going to try this. We're just going to try this and see. So if I bring that to do like a curve here, and then I'm going to bring the wire inside a little bit. So this might be really super rough, but we're going to see. And I don't want to do it too big either, or it's going to not be a good size for a pin. So if I bend this part in and we go this one, we put this part in here and okay, so that goes up like that. So that's already, I see that I've made a little bit of an error. I think I want this to be down a little further and across here. And then I don't know how many beads we're gonna need here, but we're gonna need quite a bit of space. So let's just go to about here I might even have to go past the space, but it's always the first one that's very, very difficult. And sometimes it works and sometimes I, it doesn't. I always love when you guys post your sort of mistakes in the, in the Facebook group because often um, you'll come up with something. At first you might be a little frustrated because it's not working, but then you might come up with another solution to use with your scraps. And I call those happy accidents, which are, are always really, really fun and inspiring. So I'm trying to get this to do like a little kind of shape here, around here. And what I might have to do is, let's see if that's gonna work. It might be okay. I don't know if I have enough space there, but we're going to see. I might have to make this a little bit bigger and around. And then the idea would be, Oh, I'm missing all your comments. What I wish is that I could hear you guys and we could have a discussion because that would be much easier than me trying to read the comments and make stuff at the same time. But I'm super happy that you guys chat in the chat because uh, when I have to be looking at my pieces, it's really hard to, to get in the conversation. So let's just attach this here so it's solid and in place. We want to hold the pin in place. This is the tricky part, but like I said, if you don't have a pin, don't worry. You can definitely um, do a pendant. So Peggy says, I submitted it and hasn't been approved. So what did you submit? I think I missed what you submitted. I, yeah, it's because I'm not on all online like all the time. So when you guys submit stuff, sometimes there's a delay. So what I'll do is after the, after the, the chat we can um i can either go approve it or clarice can uh, clarice if you're uh, watching you can just go and approve uh, any posts that are in there and i know sometimes i have questions from people about like sometimes posts are not approved in the group and if ever you're wondering about that uh, there could be several reasons sometimes images don't come up uh, when they've been posted for whatever reason if there's an error on either end and then the other thing is uh, if you're if you're sharing pictures from your Facebook page or if they have like links to shops or anything like that they won't get they won't get approved or also screenshots I don't approve screenshots anymore because of copyright so so if ever you have a question about a uh, post that have not been approved uh, just ask me just DM me and ask me and then I can let you know about that so guys, this is a little bit crooked, but we're just gonna go with it for now to see how it works. So this is the starting of our rainbow. Hey Kat, how are you? There we go. So I'm going to just put this one here and what do I wanna do for that? I'm gonna finish the, the rainbow. So let's give it a little bit of a measure from there to there, from there to there. 
And Clarice is going to do it right now. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Clarice. I really appreciate that. That's that's awesome. Okay, so there we go. We're going to go here. And then now we want to bend that. And then we want to get the beads in there pretty soon. So we're going to bend that here. And this, this wire is a little bit stiff. This is the 18 gauge wire. It is a little tricky to work with, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna bend this part to the back. Okay, and then we'll just, we wanna finish this end off here. So to finish that off, I'm just going to do a little curve here, or how are we gonna do this? Maybe what I'll do is I'll bring this, cause she wanted like a little circle, Victoria. I don't know if Victoria's on the on the chat here, but uh, she she wanted to dangle some beads down. So I thought maybe we could just do a, like a little circle around here. And sometimes for the circle, it's better to get like a round form to form the circle. So I'll just get like a little marker and bring it around here. And I'm gonna start like a little circle thing and we're gonna end this Maybe I'll cut this end off so it's not in the way. So we're just gonna bring this around and then pull it and cut it really flush in there. And go here and bring it down and give it a little pinch in there. Okay, so then after that, what I wanna do to dangle beads, I was thinking just to dangle them down and then I thought oh maybe it's going to be good to do like little circles to da uh, dangle them down so let's do three little circles okay so we're going to bring this one around here Paula says she doesn't feel well oh I'm sorry to hear that yeah it's uh it never feels good to not be feeling well, and especially in these times when people can't get out and get fresh air and stuff like that. It's uh, we're lucky we live in a house, so we can actually like go in the yard. Uh, we we're still allowed to like go to local, you know, parks and things like that. But you just you just can't get together with groups of people, and. Um, I like to go for little drives and stuff too. And we live near the water, so we can go down to the water and uh, we go for walks late at night and stuff like that, which is really nice. So here's our little loops to hang down some some other little dangly beads after. Uh, this is maybe getting a little large for the pin, but what I really wanna do is just troubleshoot the design. So if we bring that to here, so that'll be around there, and then we want to finish the circle. So we're gonna bend that to the back around here perfect and bring this in here so this is going to be our basic shape and I had think I was thinking to start like with the beads but sometimes it's better to do a basic outline shape and then you go from there so this way we have sort of our basic design this might be a little bit wonky but that's okay and sometimes if if you're if you're a little unbalanced you could you could uh, make these loops bigger or smaller or whatever. So this is our basic shape. We've got a pin on the back and then we wanna add in our beads. So for that, we'll start with the, I guess we'll start with the red or we can start down and make work our way out because she wanted the red at the top. So maybe I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way out. So I'll start with the uh, purple. Okay, so let's start with the purple and then I'm going to use a thinner wire. It's going to be much easier to use the 24 gauge wire and I'll I'll put the beads in with that. So I might even just try to use one continuous wire because otherwise you're going to have a lot of little pokey ends in there. So there we go. Let's do this. Yeah, Amber's talking about her puppy. Yeah, you have a lot of pets, eh, Amber? <laughs> we don't have any. We had, we had a bunny at one point, but... Uh, but that was our one and only pet, and she was wonderful, but definitely a lot of work for uh, to keep a pet. You have to have a lot of time. Okay, so let's just attach this, and we're going to start with the purple. So I'm going to just give this a little twist around, twist it a couple of times, and I like working with pre-strung beads because it's a lot quicker, but I don't really have any... Uh, 
I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. I don't have any this size, so I'm just gonna go ahead and string these on, and hopefully it's not gonna take too long. Maybe I can try to watch some comments as I as I go. So it says, hi, Jane. Jane's hopped on, and oh, I'm missing all these comments. Something's, Amanda says smart, but I don't know what it's about, and uh, ooh, yeah, I'm missing all these. We have fishes and a turtle, yes, yes, that's fun. That's a nice, that's a nice, uh, easy, easy pets, I think. Turtles live a really long time, too. Yeah, I've never had a turtle. We had a fish at one point when my daughter was young. And Amber owns a pet sitting business. Yes, that's it. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a great little business. And, um, and you must meet so many interesting, uh, interesting pets. I have a friend that she boards uh, dogs at her house, and she actually used to work at the post office, and she was my favorite person. She was the manager of the post office, and I loved her so much, and she um, she decided she wanted to go into the dog training business, and so she actually went down to California and trained with Caesar, you know, the famous dog whisperer guy. And I, I was uh, being an entrepreneur. I always encouraged her to do her own business, and she wasn't sure. And and um, finally, she quit her job as a manager at the post office, and she be she has a full time, a uh, job boarding and training dogs. So she found her calling like later in life, and she's she's never been happier. So it's really it's really I'm really happy for her. It's really cool. So here's our, we've got our purple on there. So let's just do our blue beads and get those, the royal ones. We could have done the turquoise, but it uh, depends on what you have. Um, and this would look super cool with the tubing too. So I don't know if any of you guys have that plastic tubing. You do boarding, yes. Yeah, boarding, that's, that's, that's great, yeah. I'm not sure we'd be allowed to do that in the city we live in because they've got pretty strict uh, bylaws about zoning and stuff. But I know the girl I know, she lives out in the country, so it's perfect. Yeah, for sure. Please don't sit on my fish. Okay, I think I totally missed some comments here. So, <laughs> okay, we have a cat. Sometimes comments get blocked, and I don't know why, but I just have to approve comments. I have a black with a white mark on her chest, Labrador. Oh, that's so cool. You know why I bet they blo YouTube blocked that comment, Kat? Because you're in, it's all in uh, caps. I wonder if that's why. I'm trying to figure out sometimes YouTube and Facebook uh, blocks different comments for no apparent reason. And um, it's always a game to figure out why. Okay, so here is the blue, okay. And if you find they're not like, if they're like, if it's gonna come out a little bit, I could actually wind it around this wire here. Like I could try that where you just, I won't do it to this one maybe, maybe I'll do it to the next one to show you what I mean. But I think for this one, I'll just go ahead and do it like this. Because the samples, I don't really mind if they're not perfect, we'll just do it this way. So now we're gonna go around here. And loving the rainbow already. Oh, well thank you so much. So, Cause sometimes I'm not even sure how these are going to turn out and so uh the worst is to get like like 20 minutes into a design and realize it's going nowhere so at least this is going somewhere so there's the blue and then we're going to get the green i love these seed beads they're uh they're really great i use them a lot for like compliments and stuff uh, yes, this is phenomenal, Heather. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, you guys. It's uh, at least I'm I'm not afraid of failure. So if ever I do like fail, totally fail at a design while I'm showing you guys, I I don't feel so bad about it. I I have an an innate quality of being able to laugh at myself, and I think that's a good quality. So uh, that's a good thing, and that's what my uh, the comics that I write on Instagram are all about. That like being able to completely like laugh at myself and make fun of myself because I don't take myself too seriously. So here we go. So here's the, now what I mean by wrapping this around is you can, before you do the other side of the rainbow, you can just take your wire and then wrap it around here. And then that's going to secure it to the pin a little bit. So yeah, the green is nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So key not to be afraid of failure. Yes, absolutely. Because we all... All, always when we fail, we, we learn, you know, it's really a, a essential part of, of learning. So we're going to go around here and up here. 
Yeah, when I think back of the days when I used to sell jewelry on the street, I would stand there for eight hours and literally sell one pin that was like uh, for $3. So I would make $3 a day sitting on the street selling my jewelry. But the thing was, I uh, I learned, you know, I observed other people. I saw what they were doing. I figured things out and, and, um, and I enjoyed the process. That's it. I think you have to enjoy the creative process uh, to be able to really appreciate your failures and your learning experiences. So... Yeah, happy accidents, guys. So here we go. So we have, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Doesn't really matter, two, four, six. Doesn't really, really matter how many beads there are. It just, because some beads are larger than others. Like, say I wanted them to really have the same number of beads, I could take the big ones off, and then I could find a couple of, like, skinnier ones. Say I wanted to be, like, really precise about the number of beads, that would be a solution because sometimes these seed beads aren't a standard size. So now I have not enough. One, two, three, four, five. So I do one more. So like I said, that's a little hack. If you do want to have for sure the same number of beads, but you're finding they're, they're not fitting into the space, uh, pull it back, put some smaller beads on there. So I'm obsessed with that green. It's beautiful, eh? Yeah, it's sort of like a Christmas green. Yeah. I was going to work on my mom's blanket today, but I may do the rainbow first. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys actually have that plastic tubing because it's really fun stuff. And maybe when the stores open up a bit, I can find some sources for the tubing and do some cool tutorials with it. That would be really uh, neat because I find it really fun. I used to use it a lot. So now we're going to do yellow. So let's do the yellow. And I think I like twisting it around the center uh, thing, but I'm going to compare it to see how it actually looks. So one, two, three. I could be keeping track of my beads and then just use one less every time. That might actually work. I'll have to see one, two, three, four, five. Let's try one less than before and see if it works. I have no seed beads at all. Yeah, I, I love seed beads because they are really affordable. And they're great to, you know, complement different designs. Oh, no, I need I need one more than before. I'm getting bigger, not smaller. So that's seven. We'll try eight, nine. Yeah, I just bought them at my wholesaler, but often you can buy seed beads just at the dollar store. They have tons of seed beads. Yeah, I don't have the materials. That's the problem. That's especially now. Like, a lot of people are having trouble uh, finding materials and... I don't really know the solution to that, except that hopefully things will open up soon. And maybe there's other ways to be inspired to make some other other things. Um, I don't know if you have uh, some paints or do something else like with a rainbow with some other things. There, there might be other solutions for different things. It really depends on what kind of materials you have at hand. Sometimes we just have to tweak things a little bit and um, yeah, like for the for the babushka doll, what I ended up doing, like I could have, like if I'd had a little face bead or something, I might have been able to do it. But then I thought, oh, I could just print it out of the computer and then glue it on the wooden bead. So that was kind of cool. Okay, so here's yellow. And I think I am going to twist it around again because I'm really worried about them flipping out and and getting out of place. So we're going to see. Hey, Kathy, you're, you're late. No problem at all. It's uh, We're just working on this pin for the rainbow. So I'm just trying to get the all the all the beads on there and then we're going to do some dangling beads underneath. So this was from Victoria. I don't think Victoria is actually on the live stream, so she might be at work or something, but I'll send her the replay when I'm done and I know she was looking at, uh, working on some ideas for for this rainbow pin. So uh I always love it when you guys send me ideas. And then we work it out. Of course, the one I did with Neil was so much fun, Neil, with your name in Arabic. That was really, really fun. I love that. And I'm actually trying to find someone to put subtitles on my video. There's a there's a company called Fiverr that you can uh, hire somebody to actually create subtitles. So I have a, I have a request in to get a quote on uh, getting some Arabic subtitles to put on that video because I think it would be really useful. So I, I did actually download the transcripts in English, so I just have to, to uh, get them translated, so that's cool. 
Yeah, Neil's was gorgeous. So beautiful. I just love, uh, I love how it turned out. That's so fun. So there's yellow. So now let's do um, orange. So we got orange. Oh, this is, I had wanted to prep these in advance, but what I did for the orange was I put a bunch of beads on a, on a cord to show you like my little hack when you want to string, like take, say you buy these beads that are already strung. What I do with, I would take like a, a group of four remove them with my thumb and finger and then look how much faster that is that's a little hack so if you buy strung beads especially if you have big fingers you just pull them off like that and then it makes like see it cuts the time in half well in half in a quarter because i'm taking four beads up at once so there we go so we have those ones i think i made it just about the right size so that's good so i did too many so i'll remove one and then we're going to bring that. It's a cheat. Yeah, you know me. I love to cheat. So that's perfect. This and this wire is still way too long. So I'll cut a little bit more off. So maybe the last row beads could go on top of the wire if there's. Yeah, I think I might have to do that. If, if we run out of room, we'll just stick it on top of the other one. That's fine. We'll figure it out. There we go. So we're going to go in here and wind it around. Perfect. Heather, my application for the local art was approved. It's Sunday. They're doing a via inter. Ooh, that's so cool. What it, what is that, Kathy? Tell me about it. Is that a like an exhibition? I'd love to. I'd love to know about it. If you have a link, uh, Kathy, uh, put it here. Put it here in the chat. If you have a link, like a URL link to that, I would love to. Uh, I would love to know more about that. So many things are going online now, and it's exciting to see how people are adapting to doing things online. I love that. Amazing. And uh, something that they started putting online that I, I love is they have something called Art Battle, which is basically live paint, a live painting competition. It's international. And uh, I participated in it a couple of years ago. I painted in this, it's like a live art thing that you have 20 minutes to paint from a, a blank canvas. And so because they can't do it in person now, they've done it, they're doing it online. And there's like painters from all over the world that are like a lot in Canada, but all over the world that are painting, they painting live. And I applied to do the online one. So I'm waiting to hear if I'm going to get accepted. And then what you do is you set up a your camera in your studio in your home studio and you paint live for 20 minutes and people can vote on which one they like the best so that's really cool yes in new glasgow they call it art art at night yes very nice that's so cool and a lot of major cities have art battle like in certainly across canada and um and like new york los angeles it's all over the world now so looking good guys here we go so let's get some red That'll be our last one. Uh, Miss Heather, I'm wanting, I'm wanting a name cat with a dog paw. Yes, that cat, that's definitely on my list of to do. I have quite a long list of names that I want to do uh, with the, uh, with the different icons. Uh, cat, let me know in the comments if you prefer me to make it as a pendant or a bracelet, because I'm going to start making tutorials for name bracelets with little icons on them so just let me know about that and um, I wish we could share photos on live chat oh we did that last time remember you can yes we can do that let me get my iPad Mustafa if you want to email me a photo would that be easier email me a photo to info at Heather Boy, no, you can't do that because, oh, I'm just trying to think, Gmail, maybe Gmail. Let me just sec, check. I'm going to check my Gmail to see if I can open it up because if I can, you guys can actually send me photos and I can, um, I can show them. Remember last time I did that? A bracelet. Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to go to Gmail and see if you guys want to send me a photo to show of something currently you're working on. I can try to show it on the live stream. Mustafa, would you be able to do that to email me? So if you do want to email me a photo, it's info at, no, it's not. Sorry. It's heatherboydwire at gmail.com. So if you want to email me a photo, I can try to show it here on the live stream if I, if, if I get it. I'm sending through Instagram. Okay, yes, okay, we could do Instagram's better. Uh, except I can't get it, no, Instagram's not good, I can't get it on this device. 
if you could email it to me, it would be really better because I can't, unless you email, in, unless on Instagram, you send it to Heather Boyd blog. I'm going to type that in the comments so you can see it. Let me just type it in. Okay, so at Heather Boyd blog, because I can't get, uh, for some reason, my on my iPad, I cannot get... Um, I don't know. I can't get on my Heather Boyd wire Instagram, but I could get on my Heather Boyd blog. So if you want to send me a photo there, you could do that. Did you see pics I sent of the puppy? When was that cat? Was that recently that you sent those pictures of the puppy? Because sometimes emails get uh, deleted in my, uh, in my account, but if it was today, I might not have checked it yet. So Here's, so far guys, it's coming along good. So let's bring this through here and then I can even like stick it, if I stick it through the pin a bit, it might even make it a little more solid. So let's do that. We'll stick it through the pin and around here. See if that's gonna be good. Actually, no, I'm just gonna bring it around. So I'm gonna bring it here and around. I'm gonna go to my Heather Boyd blog in case I get messages. Uh, last week's hmm okay so cat resend it today because now I don't remember if I got that one or not if I didn't reply that means I didn't get it because that can definitely happen okay so here is the red I'm just gonna go to my no I don't see anything yet on Instagram so let me know if you sent a photo on Instagram or Gmail and I can check it and show it on the on the live. I totally forgot about that. I should have prepped you guys for that because I forgot that last sent it on Instagram or Gmail. Just let me know. Yeah, Mustafa, let me let me know if you sent it on Instagram or Gmail and then I can show it. Yeah, it's fun. Like if we had Zoom or something, it would be much easier to share things, but then it gets really complicated. The red is pretty, eh? Yeah, I really like the red color. It's very rich. I use these at Christmas time. I make little brooches with reindeers, and they're really, really cute. They um, And so the red, I use green wire to make little holly leaves. Instagram. Okay, I'm going to check. Uh... But did you send it at Heather Boyd blog? Because I can't get into my Heather Boyd wire on Instagram. So it would have to be, it would have to be on Heather Boyd blog. Otherwise I'll have to look at it after because I can only get it on my, um, on my iPod and I'm filming on my iPod right now. So too many devices, too little time. So try at Heather Boyd, either at Heather Boyd blog on Instagram or at Gmail. So Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's coming along, eh? There we go. So let me just see how many beads I had here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So we definitely don't need all those. And or that one. Okay, we'll pull it back a little bit just, just to get it somewhat even. That's not too bad. So we're gonna get that in there, and then I'll just Wind it around. Let me just double check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, okay. So let's just get that one put in there. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Can't wait for hanging ones in the circle. Yes. Yeah, they're coming. So, <laughs> there we go. So let's just bend that one. Bring this one in here. I cut this wire way too long, but uh, it's because I didn't want any little pokey ends. So that's why I cut this one super long. So that's good. Coffee breaks over. Okay, well, thanks for hopping on. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have my coffee break after this. I'm gonna go for a little drive and grab a coffee and stuff. Sometimes we just go to the McDonald's drive-thru and get a coffee and then just go sit by the water or something. And uh, that's always fun. We're very blessed to live in a nice quiet area. Yeah, definitely stay safe, Jody. For sure, there we go. So that's our little end. We can poke our little end in. So, so far, there we go. Let's just try to adjust it a little bit. I'll send it on the other account, perfect. Okay, yeah, Heather Boyd blog is the other account. So that's gonna be better. I'll just refresh, general, nope. Sometimes I have to close the app and reopen it and then it'll get refreshed. Okay, so there we go. 
yeah, that other that other account I use it's it's personal, but it's also I share art and different things on it. And I have a podcast, the Stories of Starting podcast, and I share that on the Heather Boyd blog because I I do have a blog. Okay, I don't have the right colors for rainbow. Yeah, I know that's the trouble. You sent it on the other account, so let's do this. Oh, okay, I don't see it. That's really odd. Mm. On the on Heather Boyd. Maybe, oof. I'm not quite sure the best way. I think you better email it to me because I'm not, I'm not getting it on. Let me just see. Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm not getting it for some reason on that. So we'll just go to Gmail. And then if anybody wants to send me something, it's going to have to, I think it's going to have to be on Gmail because I, for some reason, can't get into that Instagram. So there, guys, this is so far so good. Okay, and now I sent you a picture of a rock I painted on Facebook. <laughs> I'm gonna be jumping around from place to place. So let's go to Facebook and check. Is that a, as a message, Peggy? I guess as a direct message, eh? So, um, I'm having trouble getting these Unless it's Messenger. Okay, I'll go on Messenger. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's the best way. Like Mustafa, I don't remember if you're on Facebook. That's the best way to do it. So guys, here's Peggy's Rock. There we go. That was easy. With the rainbow. I love it. Oh, it's so sweet. That's beautiful. I'm actually getting together with some... Um, with some friends this week on Zoom, and we're going to paint some rocks. We're going to do different uh, rock paintings, sort of like I did with the little girl last week. So there we go. Yeah, it's really, really sweet. I love it. Love painting rocks. Okay, so here's these ones here. So now we want to dangle down some... I'm trying to think of what she wanted for those beads. I don't know. I don't remember if she wanted something specific, but I'm going to look at my beads and see if I have something... Heather Boyd on YouTube. Oh, I didn't know I could get pictures on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's. Let me just. I'll check again. But I'll the. I'll show. I'll send you the the link again from my the other Instagram. It's like that. Heather Boyd blog that's yeah that's the one for that's my other Instagram if you wanted to send it there I think that's that's going to be better so let's look at the beads let's see what we got I have a bunch of different ones here those aren't the ones that I really thought about but I'm going to see what else I have for the beads because I had some really pretty ones in a little container I had some like little little drop droplet beads oh here's some yeah here they are so I have some cool ones here let's see what we have for that you guys can help me decide what kind of beads to drop down so I do have I do have the little um I've done little raindrops before but these are cute these little these little drops here I think those might be the best ones and then what do I have other than that? Yeah, this, see, I have these, but that's like, that's pretty big. I don't know what you guys think of that. That one's pretty big. Unless I did like one big and, and two small. I don't know. So you guys, let me know in the, let me know in the, uh, in the chat if you just like the three small ones or one big one in the middle. The white one is the best. Yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. And um, and then we can go from there. Only pearl. Okay, so let's do that. We'll do the pearls. So for that, we're going to need our wire again. So maybe I'll just use, I guess, the thin one. We'll use the thin one for now. Although it might be too thin. Oh, we'll try it. Well, let's try the thin one. Okay, so we're going to cut this. Send it to Heather Boy Blog. Okay, so let's do this. This is our challenge of the day is to try to get communication going in these things. I'm gonna refresh my page. So let's see. Are you guys all on Instagram? I love Instagram. It's one of my favorite social media platforms. Yeah, it's really fun. There we go, one request, got it. This bird, 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 tap, okay, uh, accept. Perfect, it's a, there we go guys, okay. 
Look, guys. Mustafa's, uh, it's a ring, eh? It's gorgeous. I love that. That's so beautiful. Very pretty. Was that from uh, the, I did a tutorial similar to that a while back. Was that from the tutorial? I did a long time ago. I have a, had a friend that used to make those and sell those on the street, little rings with daisies, and I learned from her. It's I love it with the pearls. It's really beautiful. Thank you for persevering to send it to me. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a fun, fun design. Really fun and super fast, eh? Oh, my goodness. If anybody wants to sell rings, that's a good one. You can mass produce those ones. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the gold with the pearls. Really pretty. So guys, we're going to set these up for the little drops. So they would just like hang down here. And do you think that I should put other beads on them as well? Or should they just be plain? Because I, I could add some other beads. I find them a little light. But maybe what I'll do is I'm going to try something else too. I just, I find them a little bit light for what's going on there. Plain, eh? Okay, so I love this rainbow pattern. I'm only 13 and I have an Instagram. That's, that's cool. That's awesome. Well, you did a wonderful job. So let me just see. The other thing you could do is you can like wrap them with wire a little bit too. But I think we'll just do some plain ones now to see. Or we can compare them. You know, that's the other thing we can do. That's, I mean, that's why... That's why I do these uh, these live streams is to really experiment because sometimes if it's too plain, the other thing you can do is just take it and like wind this around a little bit to see that might make it a little more interesting. Wait, no. Okay, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to remove that. I'm actually going to get a different wire because I find that one not that... Nice. So let me just get another wire here. Okay. Uh, okay. Got a slightly thicker wire. This one's 22 gauge. So let's try that because I find that one a little bit fragile. So if I stick this one on here. Okay. Uh, where do you get your wire? So I get my wire many different places. Often I'll buy it on Etsy. This uh, base wire I use for this is 18 gauge. I got it at Michael's. I bought it like in person in Michael's. But um, yeah, there's many different places that you can get it. So I'm going to try some different things. Okay, so the other thing you can do with this is you could do like kind of a, a little herringbone thing. I don't know if it's going to work with this or not. Let's just try. If I bring that around here and bring that here, just because I like to experiment when I'm on these things. So if I bring that around here and bring this down and around here, I mean, there's lots of ways you can make it fancy. I don't love that. So I'm going to like cut that one off and try something else because it's all about the creative process. So I'm going to get another wire. Yeah, sometimes I buy wire on Etsy and the rainbow is busy enough. You're right. Yeah, it's very busy. So uh, so let's just see. I'm going to just try one more thing with this. And then if not, we'll just do them super plain. Yeah. And uh, and then Victoria can tell me what she sort of had in mind for that. I wasn't. I don't remember exactly what she wanted to do with the um with the rainbow uh she wanted a pin but i forget what kind of bead she wanted to hang down yeah so there's all i mean this this works better if you're if you're um doing like round beads to wind them around and stuff but i mean that just gives you an idea of what it would look like if you surrounded it with wire i think it's overkill though or just plain. So I'll do it plain, but that's just to show you guys different possibilities of what you can do with the beads. But I will use the other wire because I find it prettier, the 22 gauge wire. Sometimes the 24 gauge is not so nice. I will send the pick of my wires. Okay. So there we're gonna go. I'm gonna go around here and bring this one up here. And I'm going to just, here, I'm just going to check something. Uh, there we go. My browser is hard to hard to see things sometimes. So there we go. So I just wanted to check my time because it's almost two. And I'm just going to finish up 
Senna, hi, look at all those emojis, cool. So let's just set up the three, we'll just set up the three dangling beads and we'll go from there. I think that's gonna be good. It's funny, I'm so ambitious. I thought I might have time to do another design today, but I don't, the other design was my friend Lori uh, wanted me to do a pendant for her with the rainbow with like clouds underneath, a little bit like the logo you see um, all over the place right now. And it actually happened to be her logo before any of this stuff happened. And so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that for her. So maybe next week I could do that on the live stream. Or I'll do it ahead of time. I'm not I'm not quite sure, but it was a it's a really cute design too. Okay, so let's just do these ones. I'll get another bead and just pull that one out. So, Arthenia says, hello, what is your preferred brand for jewelry tools? Well, that's tricky because I bought my tools years ago and I, um, the company I bought them from, well, these ones, the company is out of business. It was Pascal, it was a hardware store. So they're out of business. This is John Beads. They're a wholesaler in Toronto. They're really good quality, but you need to buy like a $300 minimum. They're a wholesaler. And but I know Beadalon uh, has really good quality tools as well. So that's uh, that's definitely you sent a photo of your wire. So Mustafa, I'm not going to have time to check my uh, Instagram anymore today, but I'll definitely have a look after the live stream. So there, so here's the little beads hanging down, and I think she wanted the, to hang them down like one lower in the middle. So let's just go ahead and we're going to. We'll just cut the end, like cut it longer than how you how much you want to hang it. So we're going to do cut it here. And then I'm going to bend this around and back. So that's just like to make the little curve. So that would go here. Hopefully it's not too low. It's not too bad. It's a little low, but that's all right. I think she wanted it to hang down quite a bit lower. Okay, so there's one, and then the other ones you want them to hang low, uh, not so low, but this, you want them to be the same length. So let's measure about how much, like about there. So we'll do maybe about here. So if we're gonna just cut them here, so they're the same length. That's always the trick is to get things the same size. So we're gonna bend that around. And you can always make this a little bit, you can adjust it after if you have to. So that would be here. Let's just double check. And I think we'll make them a little bit, I'm gonna cut a little bit more off because I want it to be, to hang a little bit higher. So there we go. So we're gonna open that up, bring this here. This is very soft wire. This one's actually aluminum. And I like aluminum because it's very shiny. So, so there's that. And then we're gonna cut a little bit more off that one. And you see aluminum is very soft. I'm cutting it with the ends of my pliers. Like you don't even need uh, cutters to cut aluminum. So it's almost like too fragile, but it's good for some, for some things. So we're gonna bend that there and there. And then see, we've got the pin on the back. That's super cool. And then we have the little beads hanging down. So let me just, if I close the pin, it's a little bit wobbly. So what you could do for that is I could have bent it like, if I could have bent it around this side a little bit more, it would have been less wobbly. So I'll just go like that for now. And then we're gonna push this down. So I'm gonna to try to get it in a position that you guys can actually see it. It's kind of cute. I think I'm, I might do the beads, like if I had a blue color bead or something, it would be super cute too. And maybe I can prop that up a little bit just to show you guys. If we just prop it up a little bit, it might be easier. There we go. So that's that shows it a little bit more. Or maybe just like that. And they'll hang on that down. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so actually I don't like the way that looks there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it uh, the camera down so you can see it a little closer. So let me get the camera. Perfect, beautiful, thank you, awesome. I also use aluminum wire. Yeah, aluminum wire is fun because it's very flexible and it's not expensive and it doesn't tarnish. So guys, here's the brooch. 
it pretty well worked out. So at least I have the design concept and then I'll send that to Victoria and she could do any little tweaks that she wants on it. And if you don't have a pen, you could definitely use it. As, you can definitely do a um, pendant would work well too. So I'm gonna flip my screen around. All right, let's just get this on here. Perfect, good, awesome. I'll just close my cupboard, that's a mess. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hopping on. It's always uh, such a fun time. We always uh, come up with some cool ideas and stuff and I really appreciate your feedback. And be sure to keep sharing photos in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club of all your gorgeous creations. Uh, if you're curious about the, so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Shafia. So yeah, if you're curious about the daily prompts, like the one I showed you earlier with the little babushka doll and stuff. So every day I post a little prompt at 8 a.m. Eastern time just to get the wheels turning and people come up with some really cute ideas. It was fun for the babushka doll. Several people made just like little kind of stylized designs out of wire, which was so, so cool. And so I just love the way people interpret the themes in different ways. It's really fun. Art show info was sent to your Gmail. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna check that out, Kathy. Thank you so much and congratulations. That's super cool. Yeah, anytime you guys have really curious uh, or interesting uh, projects you're working on, um, I'm curious. I'd love you. You can send me a direct message anytime. You can. Uh, email me at info at heatherboydwire.com or heatherboydwire at gmail.com. I get them all. And, uh, and have a wonderful day. Stay safe. I'm going to keep making names. So if you request your name, I might or might not get around to doing it. It just, uh, I'll do what I can. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, everybody. And we'll see you the next time. Bye.